Some people believe that the government should invest more money in public transportation. Others think that the government should invest more money in roads and highways. Discuss both views and give your opinion. The allocation of government funds for transportation infrastructure has long been a subject of debate. Some people argue that more money should be invested in public transportation, while others believe that roads and highways should receive greater funding. This essay will discuss both perspectives and offer my opinion on the matter. Advocates for increased investment in public transportation argue that it offers numerous benefits to society. Firstly, public transportation, such as buses, trains, and subways, can reduce traffic congestion by encouraging people to use shared transport options instead of personal vehicles. This reduction in traffic can lead to shorter travel times and increased productivity. Secondly, public transportation is more environmentally friendly, as it produces fewer greenhouse gas emissions per passenger than private cars. By promoting the use of public transit, governments can contribute to reducing air pollution and combating climate change. Lastly, investing in public transportation can improve accessibility for people without cars, enabling them to access jobs, education, and other essential services more easily. On the other hand, proponents of increased investment in roads and highways argue that it is crucial for the efficient movement of goods and people. High-quality roads and highways can facilitate trade, reduce transportation costs, and improve overall connectivity within a country. Furthermore, investing in roads and highways can create jobs in construction and related industries, boosting the economy. Additionally, well-maintained roads and highways can improve road safety by reducing the risk of accidents caused by poor road conditions. In my opinion, a balanced approach to transportation infrastructure investment is necessary. Governments should allocate funds to both public transportation and roads and highways, as both types of infrastructure play essential roles in a country's development. By investing in public transportation, governments can promote sustainable and inclusive growth while reducing traffic congestion and environmental impact. Simultaneously, investing in roads and highways can improve connectivity, road safety, and facilitate economic growth through trade and job creation. In conclusion, while there are valid arguments for investing in either public transportation or roads and highways, a balanced approach that considers the diverse needs of a country's population and economy is the most effective strategy. By allocating funds to both forms of transportation infrastructure, governments can work towards creating a more sustainable, efficient, and accessible transportation network for all. Thank you for visiting. I'll be back with more videos soon, so please subscribe.